guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for today's video, which is going to be my opening beauty advent calendars video. It's my first Christmas video of the year. It feels way too early to be doing this, but it's November and people are already starting to think about which advent calendars they want to be opening next month. So I thought I would open a few for you today to give you a little bit of a feel as to what is inside. Obviously, beauty advent calendars over the past couple of years have just gone absolutely crazy. There are so many brands offering beauty advent calendars at the moment and it really is quite a hard choice, especially with the huge range in price. They go from around the like £20 mark all the way up to the £200 mark, possibly even beyond. And they do sell out really, really quickly. So that's why I'm bringing this video to you potentially a little bit earlier than you might expect to see Christmas content. And also these beauty advent calendars do tend to sell out really quickly. So if there are any that you really like I'll leave the links to all of these linked I'll leave the links to all of these down below and do not hang about because I would hate for you to be disappointed and not get the one that you really want so without further ado let's get started okay so first of all is the soap and glory it's a calendar girls advent calendar which I think is a really fun way of doing it this is available from boots so hopefully really easy to get your hands on on the day of filming this video, it is still in stock. Um, it's 40 pounds, not sure if I just said that. Um, and I believe that this is actually available in the Boots 3 for 2 offer, so you could potentially pick up three, maybe some for your friends as well, save a little bit of money. Um, inside, as you can see, it's a really nice, big, substantial one. Very, very colorful and bright on the inside. Bright pink, almost like a beautiful sequin pattern. And then you've got the vintage pin-up dolls that we associate with Soap and Glory decorating inside. You're probably gonna hear me saying this a lot during this video, but I really love advent calendars for travel minis because it's a little bit of a rarity when you do get a full size product from the calendars, sometimes it's just reserved to Christmas day, but personally I love just stocking up my travel minis, so great for popping in your travel bag, your sleepover bag, and this one is certainly full of them. So I'm going to go ahead and open up day number 20 to start with, and inside we have got, actually this looks like a really good size, um, this is their hand food hand cream. Hand cream is just a really universally loved product. I don't know anyone that doesn't like hand cream. Really nice thing to pop in your handbags. That's a lovely one for day number 20. And what else should we open? Let's do number eight. It's a slightly different size. Oh, then we have a makeup product. So a nice variation. You've probably got some body care. I can imagine Soap and Glory do amazing like body washes. Last year I got one of their body butters, which I adore. And it looks like they've added some makeup in this time. This is their Sexy Mother Pucker Matte Lip, 3D lip color in a very versatile shade. So nice that they've picked a color that will suit everyone. That is in day number eight. And then finally, this is quite an unusual shape. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's like an avocado shape for day number 15. Let's have a little look what is in here. Oh, it looks like a, oh, I thought it was gonna be a face mask, but actually it's a rich and famous shower and bath body wash. Very, very tiny body wash. I feel like they probably could have gone a little bit more generous on the size they've given here, because that literally is enough for one of my legs. I do go quite heavy when it comes to using shower products, um, but a nice way to try it out, rich and foamous. So that is in day number 15. So that's the first one. I feel like a lot of people are going to be very, very happy to receive this. It's a really nice thing to gift someone just before the Christmas period, and why not treat your girlfriends on the three for two offer? I'm hoping that is actually true. So that's Soap and Glory. This next one is a much higher price point and it is one of the very luxurious advent calendars, also a very heavy one. This one is from Molten Brown. This one is Charlie's personal favorite. He gets very excited for this every year um, and opening up his daily treats. It's beautifully presented. And also on that note, it is a great unisex advent calendar or nice perhaps if you want one for the family to share. Um, really beautifully presented. I would definitely be keeping this box for like presentation and it opens up with this little magnetic clasp. Inside, all of the days are individually numbered. Um, it is a little bit like Jenga or a jigsaw in that when you open one, they all start to fall out. So I'm gonna lie this, um, I'll open it up and show you, and then I'm going to lie it flat on my lap because last year I could not, for the life of me, figure out how to get them all in again. Looks like we have a little body lotion. This is their Rosa Absolute. What I think is really nice about Molten Brown is, let's be honest, Pretty much everybody loves Molten Brown products, and I know a lot of people, I don't want to say get stuck in a rut, but they have a real favourite. So Charlie and I have been using like Naranji for so many years, as has my mum, we just absolutely love it. So this could be a really nice way of trying out and maybe discovering a new fragrance. Heaven forbid your favourite ever goes out of stock. Um, it's nice to know which other ones you absolutely love. So this is a little body lotion. Let's see what they have in the square boxes. This one feels really heavy. This is number 17. Oh my gosh, I think this is a candle. 
This is a little mini candle. It's the Ylang Ylang fragrance in this beautiful deep purple, um, do you call it a votive? I think that's what they're called when they're this size. Really nice to just have dotted about the house, in your bedroom. And molten brown ones, I always find the fragrances very, very strong. So that's a really nice one. Let's open up one more. Let's go for number five. I can't guess what this is based on the shape, but let's see. I think it is it's a hand cream. Once again, this could definitely be a gift for a guy. Like, it's quite masculine packaging. It's their Alba White Truffle Hand Treatment and I'm going to try this now because I'm super impatient. I'm not sure if I've ever actually tried Morton Brown hand cream before, um, but this is actually a really good size. It's probably not their full full size, but when you're spending £165 you do want something a little bit bigger than just a typical sample. Oh my gosh, oh, it smells absolutely heavenly. Next up is the first 12 days of Christmas box, and I believe that you're meant to gift these um, and then start opening them on Christmas Day and then going up to New Year's Day. I think that's right, please correct me if I'm wrong. And this is from one of my favorite skincare brands, it is the Liz Earl 12 days of Christmas box. Inside it is a selection of, again, individually boxed treats and I personally think this is a really good gift to give someone that is already perhaps a cleanse and polish fan. So many people absolutely swear by that cleanser, but maybe they want to discover something else from the range. This is a really nice way of helping them decide what else they want to try. Once again, I'm going to open up a couple and show you what is inside. So this is day number six. Let's see what's in here. Quite a small product, but this would still probably get maybe three or four uses. It is their Liz Earl Intensive Nourishing Treatment Mask. I'm not sure if I've tried this one before. I've tried quite a few Liz Earl face masks. Absolutely love all of them. But one thing that is good about these smaller sizes is that Liz Earl does contain naturally active ingredients, so you're not going to need to worry about leaving something open for too long. I do get quite conscious of my face masks, especially if they're in quite an open container. Um, my Liz Earl Night Cream, it is such a ginormous pot, but I do sometimes worry about the active ingredients because the pot is open for quite a long time but you don't have that stress with these which is a bonus so you've got a lovely face mask help to detox the skin after food induced pimples maybe over the Christmas period next this one's quite big it's day number two let's see what's in here I think this is the classic cleanse and polish in a slightly smaller size to the usual but still fairly substantial. This is so many people's favourite skincare product. I keep going back to this time and time again no matter how many cleansers I try, this is one I always go back to. Maybe if you've got a friend that hasn't tried Lizelle yet, they would very much appreciate this and this will help them see what all the hype is about. Finally, let's open day number three. This is a really long one, very light, not sure what's in here. Um, looks like some cleansing cloths, not the most exciting thing to open, but a necessity nonetheless. So you get the cleansing cloths in day number three. This box is £66, you can get it on loads of different websites, um, John Lewis is a good one to get it from, and again, still in stock. Personally, I think just a really, really lovely gift. If you know someone that's obsessed with skincare or already a Lazar fan, then this is a really good gift idea. Next up, this is a really fab one. It is from Declayor, and I think this is a really great value one. I think what's inside this is worth well over 200, 220 pounds, but it retails for only 65 pounds, which I think for a advent calendar from a brand as luxurious as Declayor and one as big and beautiful as this, I actually think that's a really good price. Last time I checked, they've not sold out, but this one does sell very, very fast, so I wouldn't delay if you want to treat yourself to this or treat someone else to this. Inside, you have 24 products, absolutely ginormous when it's open, 24 products that'll help you get pampered and ready for the festive season. So let's open up day number 19 to start up. Let's see what's inside. This looks like a little mini, a little sample of the, oh, it's one of their serums smoothing oil serum. This I have a little bottle of by my bed and it's so gorgeous. What I love about Declayor products is they smell so so good. I have to say a little disappointed at how tiny this is when it came in such a big window. Definitely expecting something a bit bigger but then I guess that's why it's £65 but still a lovely lovely product nonetheless. Great way to try it out and maybe you will want to invest in the full size. Let's go for day number, ooh, day number four, slightly smaller window. Inside we have got another very small one, 
Aromescence Neroli Hydrating Night Balm. This would be a good one to take on an airplane with you. I always like to put night creams on when I fly, I find it really rehydrating for my skin. But yeah, quite a small one. I hope there's some bigger ones in here. Um, what feels heavy? This side does feel quite heavy. I'm going to open up day number 16. Here we go, much bigger. We have what looks to be a full-size hand cream. I have not tried Decalio hand cream before, um, but overall I absolutely adore the brand. They have so many nice serums, oils, face masks, things like that. So this is a lovely gift for someone who is already a fan of the brand or you think just deserves a little bit of pampering around Christmas time. Okay, I'm only going to mention this one very briefly because it is actually sold out online, but I do believe there are a few more left in stores, and it is the Boots Number no. 7 Advent Calendar. This one retails for £40, but it's worth over £160, so you are getting a lot of great value beauty products inside. I'm guessing it's going to be all number no. 7, um, which I am a big fan of. Their makeup removers, their micellar waters, I absolutely adore. Ooh! This one says, your number seven match made gift invitation. That's interesting. So on the 14th of December, discover your perfect bronzer shades designed to complement your skin tone. Re redeem your gift invitation in store and take home your perfect number seven match made bronzer. That's actually a really nice idea. Initially, I was like, please don't let this be just an invitation for a makeover, which is probably free in store anyway, but you do get to take home a bronzer. So that's a really nice idea and very clever boots driving people into the store. Um, no doubt people end up buying lots more while they are in store as well. Generally, I just think these are such good marketing ploys as well. Brands that do them, you are very, very wise. Ooh, day number 21 is a makeup brush and that feels absolutely gorgeous. I've not tried number seven makeup brushes before. It's not really a brand that I automatically think of for makeup brushes. So that's a nice little discovery. Good size for um, if you've got a makeup bag in your handbag for daily like top ups on the tube or whatever. Really nice size. And let's see what is behind door number 15. This looks like a little eyeshadow. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that out. I'm not very good at prodding things out. But as you can see, a little eyeshadow in there. Lovely neutral shade, good for maybe all over the eyelid and in the corners to brighten up the eye area. So a nice addition to your festive makeup collection. Next up is one that I get very excited about every year and it is the Body Shop Advent Calendar. So they always have a variety to choose from, ranging in price from 45 pounds, I think one of them is 65 and then this one is 99 pounds. The value of what's inside is so much more, often at double the cost of the um, advent calendar itself. The body shop as a whole I just absolutely adore. If you guys haven't seen it, I went to India with the body shop earlier this year, feels like forever ago, to learn about their community trade which they're celebrating 30 years of this year. They do really amazing things and it's just amazing that you can support that by buying something so fabulous this Christmas. Let's have a peek what's inside. I think I think it's going to be little individual drawers, yes, another Jenga one, so this is what it looks like inside, so many beautiful individually boxed products, and it looks like they're all going to be pretty big too, so let's have a little nosy. Little box here, um, it's chilly outside, treat someone to a hot drink, it says on the box, and we have got a little, ooh, what is this, it's some of their glitter makeup I think, glitter dust, for any Christmas parties you've got coming up, quite small for a big box. Um, but we will forgive them. Number 10. Oh, it's got like a little Q&A on it. What is the average lifespan of an Asian elephant? Um, I'm gonna guess 90 years? Ah, 60 years apparently. Still not bad going, the Asian elephants. <laughs> Inside here, once again, really big box for not a very huge product. It is Star Stamp Liner. This is, I think it's a black eyeliner. Looks like it could be a double-ended liner. Okay, and let's also open day number 12. Another big box. Let's hope it's third time lucky. We have got another small product. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a makeup brush. I say a small product and act disappointed, but actually these probably retail for about £12 each, so you are still getting good value for your money. And it is full size, so credit to Body Shop for that. This is their cruelty-free, of course, um, makeup brush. So all of these bits so far that I've opened up are all makeup. I'm going to open up one more, and hopefully it might be like a body butter or something. Let's go for day number 23. Really big box. Inside we have got a full size almond milk and honey body butter. This is probably my favorite fragrance. Actually, I had one of these with me when we went to the Maldives after going to India with um, the body shop and this fragrance will just always remind me of that trip. It is so heavenly. Oh my gosh, if you love the smell of honey, then this is just 
divine. I feel like everybody loves a body shop body butter, so to open up a full size one of those on day number 23 is a lovely treat. Oh, that is so nice. I've just read what's written inside one of the doors and it says, this Christmas we're challenging you to play it forward with our 25 day game changing advent calendar. Each day we'll set you a task to help make the world a better place. Because this advent calendar takes giving to the next level, once you've completed your challenge, it turns into a board game so you can turn your luck at putting the world back together again. Oh my gosh, that is so lovely. So for example, every single day has a little thing that you can do to brighten up someone else's day. This one says, keep nature feeling chirpy by feeding the birds. So that's just, that's a really lovely idea. I didn't notice that before. So I'm gonna have a look at some of the other nice things to do. You don't have to have the calendar to do this. You can do it anyway. Put pen to paper and write someone a thank you note. Nice way to bring a smile to someone's face. So I've had a little bit of a technical glitch. Um, as you can tell, I'm now filming this on my vlogging camera. I have just lost half an hour's worth of footage. Um, I don't know where it's gone. I think my camera just stopped filming and I still have six advent calendars to show you. All of which I've just filmed. Um, that was Dickens trying to jump on the sofa behind me and epically failing. Um, yeah, I just filmed it all and it's gone. So I'm going to whiz through the last six advent calendars. So I wanted to show you, I also have Dexter on my lap. I wanted to go through the Clinique one. This is one that I look forward to every single year. It's a mixture of skincare and makeup products. Inside the doors that I opened um, a second ago, we have the toner. This is part of their three-step routine, which is a really, really lovely skincare routine. Very thorough. For me, it was actually my first proper skincare routine. So this, I will always think very fondly of. Um, so that's a great size. Probably would last a couple of weeks at home. Up here, we also have a little mini of the Take the Day Off cleansing oil. This one is a really light cleansing oil, very nourishing, but also very effective. And I also opened up number nine, which has a little mini moisture surge. These are three iconic Clinique products. So if you are a fan of the brand and you want some top-ups, absolutely perfect for that. This one is still in stock on the day of filming, so do not hang around for the Clinique one. Okay, I've propped the camera up, which hopefully should make things a little bit easier. Next is L'Occitane, this one opens down ways and it has lots of little drawers. I absolutely love L'Occitane miniatures, especially their hand creams. Um, the ones that I opened up previously, there was a little hand cream, a little mini of the Divine Cream, which for me is a really good dupe of Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. Lots of very good quality products in here. And then the other one that I opened up, I will never be able to find them again because basically they're all individually wrapped in the drawers. So it's really nice you get to actually unwrap the tissue paper. Just like opening a gift every single day. The other one that I opened up when I previously filmed was a little mini of their cleansing oil which I used all throughout summer when I was traveling. It was really good for nourishing my quite dehydrated skin when I was flying quite a lot during the summer months. So that's a really lovely one from L'Occitane. I think L'Occitane is a really nice one for mums, maybe any aunties, grannies, sisters. I think it's just a really lovely one to give as a gift. So another favorite from me. We then have Bare Minerals. This one is 24 products again. There were quite a few lip glosses that I opened up the first time, a few different shades. Um, there was a pink one from the Gen Nude collection and that whole launch I was a huge fan of this year. It's really beautiful inside as well. It's like metallic gold, absolutely beautiful. Um, so we have a few lip glosses, not quite full size, but I never really use up a lip gloss, so it doesn't bother me too much. There's another lip gloss in there, more of a coral color. Have you seen where Dexter is? <laughs> He's like a little mountain goat. Um, and then here we have a mini of their serum. So not everyone knows that Bare Minerals also do skincare. This is their Skin Longevity Longevity Vital Power Infusion Serum. Really nice way to try out their skincare. I can tell you it's amazing. I think I could just live off their mineral skincare. Big fan of that. We have the Clinique 12 Days of Christmas. This is a really lovely one to keep the excitement going after Christmas Day has passed. Lots of amazing, amazing things in here and probably the most beautiful and festive advent calendar. I think it's a really lovely thing to have on display in the house. That is upside down. <laughs> um, but yeah, a really beautiful one to look at as well as the pieces inside. Down here, you actually have a candle. And this to me is just like the ultimate luxury 
smell it is seriously gorgeous even without lighting it makes this whole box smell delicious number 12 is an instant light natural lip perfecter even if you don't like lip glosses this product is incredible i feel like all the products in this advent calendar are quite iconic um ones that everyone will like which is definitely great because obviously these are probably going to be given as gifts. And then this one I didn't actually open previously, but it looks like a full-size mascara. The Instant Light Lip Perfector is also full-size. This is their Intense Black Mascara. I'm a huge fan of Clarins mascaras, um, especially their waterproof ones. I think it's called the Truly or the Ultra Waterproof Mascara is like the most hard-wearing, non-budging mascara in the whole world. So big fan of that. This one I think is selling really well already. So not one to hang around on if you want to give this as a gift to someone this Christmas. We then have Feel Unique and this one is only £35 so really really good value and it's really nice for trialing out some beauty brands that potentially you may not have tried before. I opened up number one and this is a little highlighting tube tester, um, not quite a tester, it's a bit bigger than that, from a brand called Inica and they are an organic beauty brand so really nice to try a new brand that potentially you may not have heard of before. There was also a natural and organic eyeliner pencil in here um, and it said it was particularly good for people with sensitive skin, sensitive eyes and I have a friend that has very teary eyes when she wears eye makeup so I'm definitely going to give that one to her. Um, other brands in here are some classics like Nooks, you've got Elizabeth Arden in here too so a really nice way of getting some top-ups of brands you already love and then potentially trying some new ones too. And then I've kind of saved the best till last. This is actually my favourite advent calendar. I love Elemis as a brand, it's one of my favourite skincare brands. I just love their Pro Collagen Marine Cream, I love their night creams, I love their eye serum, I'm a huge fan and I actually had a facial at the House of Elemis the other day and it was blissful so if you're ever in London then highly recommend. This is the advent calendar, um, it is a very high quality advent calendar, the box is made, it's very sturdy material, it's not, it's more than cardboard, um, it's really really lovely and then you've got individually boxed products inside, I'm going to pop it on my lap because if this falls down and I drop it, it's going to be a nightmare. Inside the boxes, I'm not going to open too many because, as I said, this is round two, but you do get some great sized products inside. I think there are a few full size pieces in there, which is why it does have that price tag. I think it's £165, but then you do get some really good sized minis too. This is the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. If you've not tried this before, Oh, hello my little mountaineer. If you've not tried this before, it is a gorgeous cleanser, so luxurious. It's definitely like a pampering experience just to cleanse your skin with this. And the flannel, unlike Lizelle where you get the flannels, they have a day to themselves, this actually comes in the same little box as the cleanser. You will definitely have glowing skin for Christmas if you are using all of these lovely products in the lead up to Christmas day. So this one I think is my personal favourite. I will definitely be looking forward to opening up these in the advent days coming up. So that's all the calendars that I have to show you. I would love to know in the comments section below which one you would most like to be opening up this December, um, if you've already invested in any, or if there are any more that you'd like me to try and find for potentially part two of this video. Sorry this last bit has been a bit rushed, but as I said, I filmed it all already. YouTuber's worst nightmare. Um, and Charlie and I are heading out for bonfire night now. So thank you so much for watching. Please do let me know in the comments if you would like me to do part two. Other than that, we are going to be going back to autumn content now, autumn fashion and beauty videos, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those, and then more Christmas things coming your way in a few weeks. If you've got any Christmas video requests as well, I'd love to know what you'd like to see, so leave that in the comment section too. Gonna be lots of comments hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's all from me, I hope you guys have a fab day, and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!